Good morning. So now, if you're a doctor, you can prescribe that drug for COVID. You know that drug, cheap drug, old one, works for COVID. Some people say it works. Right? Now, I can't use the word here. I don't think so, here on YouTube. But, you know, some people make fun of this drug, drug and say it's, a, it's used for animals, which is true. You know. But it's actually working, apparently, for people. And now you can prescribe it if people have COVID, if you're a doctor. Now, the thing is, you, you always could. <laughs> That's right. According to this lady, Ashley, I'll post a link to this article. It's quite amusing. So Ashley, she's a U.S. Department of Justice lawyer representing the Food and Drug Administration. And she was in this hearing on the 8th of August in the Court of Appeals. And she said, yes, you can prescribe that drug and you always could. We never tried to stop it. <laughs> right. In other statements, earlier statements, they said, the Food and Drug Administration said, this drug isn't authorized or approved to treat COVID. And they said, stop it, stop the, using it. You know? But you know what? She was asked about this. Now you say it's okay to prescribe it. Why did you say stop it earlier? And you know what she said? She said, these remarks from the Food and Drug Administration, they were merely quips. <laughs> this is too funny. Quips. I didn't know what that word means. So I had to look it up. You know what it means? Quips. It's a clever, witty remark. A synonym is joke. A synonym to quip is joke. So it's a sort of a joke, it's a sort of witty, funny remark. So, so when they said you can't use that drug, it was sort of witty and funny. No. Doctors, they were supposed to understand how hilarious this was and keep prescribing it. Wow, so they came up with this joke. That's what she claims. You know. And I was wondering, what else did they joke about, quip about? Maybe when they said that the tea is effective. It wasn't effective at all, right? But it was just a quip, you see? And maybe when they said it was safe, too. And now people are getting seriously injured and some people are dying. Well, that was funny, wasn't it? Ha <laughs> ha. We were quipping. Maybe it was all a joke, you know, when they said you, sh you should wear a mask. That was funny, wasn't it? And you have to stay indoors. And what about this one? This was hilarious, wasn't it? They said, if you don't take it, you will lose your job. They never really meant it. It was just a quip, you see. Fantastic. Isn't this fantastic? I think it is. Now, I've been thinking about herd mentality lately and trends. You know, some people are very sensitive to trends. They want to know about the new trends and they want to know what trends are now old so they can leave the old ones and join the new trends. You know? I think there are people actually working professionally to know about trends, you know, talking about it. Now, I believe that this is part of herd mentality. You want to be popular. You want to be in the group, you know. You don't want to be out. You want to be in. <laughs> and when I talk to people like this, which I did, you know, I noticed something. Uh, very, very uncommon for these people to have original, unique 
ideas and thoughts, expressing them. It's like they have this filter. Oh, it's, it's hard to describe it. I feel sorry for these people. And of course they had the tea, you know, because this was a big trend, wasn't it? <laughs> well, it turned into some sort of a psychosis, basically. So of course they took it, you know, but they never had a thought about it. I don't think so, you know, they never thought about it. Well, maybe they did, I don't know. But they just took it, of course, not knowing what it was. But it was a trend, of course. So you join the gang, the herd, and you do what everybody else is doing. Right? That's just an observation. Alright, be good.